Have you ever had a time where you really wanted to jump out of a plane, but you were too scared to? I want to show you my, in this video about my journey of how I was able to conquer my own fear of skydiving. And I hope you can use this video as a tool for yourself to really encourage yourself to jump out of that plane. Without further ado, let's go have a look. My skydiving journey started in 2020 before pre-pandemic. I was in the wet Sundays and this is me jumping in a plane. I know, look at that view. At first I look like I'm having the best time in my life but also I'm very scared. It was a very scary feeling of jumping out of the plane. Through time after that skydive into 2021, I still had in my head that I wanted to jump out of planes and try and dive into skydiving, see what I did there. Uh, I always had a fear of heights. I would go, you know, on top of mountains and I wouldn't go near the cliffs. I also had a lot of trauma when I was young. I believe I was only three or four years old and I went up to the Eiffel Tower and I was scared to look off the edge. And that's how I've been able to understand my own fears. This is the start of my A license, which is a week long. What I can say from this week was it was traumatizing, challenging, and also life changing. Let's go look at my reaction after the first day. What is up, everyone? Hello, I just did my first day of, um, skydiving yeah uh so far i'm in my this is my uh trailer they gave me during my accommodation it looks like something out of um the hills have eyes so uh i better not be running for my life and you can't even lock the door so great um in other words um so today i just did my training um they threw so much information at me and, um, I had a lot of questions, it, it was more to do with, it was more practical, as, as, a, more in the situation, and trying to keep a clear head for when you are jumping off the plane, and not to think like, alright, at this point you go with the parachute, no, 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 you just go, alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump off the plane, <laughs> I'm gonna follow my steps, gonna look at my little altitude clock, and I'm gonna go, free fall and just relax. Um, I've got a video, so I will, I'll definitely add this to the edits. In other words, um, I did a ride, I didn't do it on my own. Um, I was looking what I was doing and I had to do, you know, I do my checks and do some procedures, like safety procedures. In other words, um, I was quite traumatized. Um, I thought it was very Difficult, I haven't really, well, I have pushed myself this far, but, um, this is something that's beyond me, you know, um, I always want to get my skydiving license, but I've always been very afraid of the fact that you're jumping out of a plane, but, you know, I, I go scuba dive with all the sharks, because, you know, that's just what I do, but, in other words, I'm, I'm glad here that I'm here, in my, um, Hills have eyes, um, <laughs> trailer. No, it's pretty comfy. I'm, I'm happy I have a private room. So after having a good night's sleep, I went off and continued and tried to remember why the hell I was doing this in the first place. I want to try and be a skydiver. And I do not want to give up. And plus, if you don't know this, skydiving is expensive. Once you pay for the course, you will not get your money back. So you have to commit. At this moment, I had the courage to actually jump without an instructor. I remember I was actually overwhelmed and crying on the plane. Yes, and I wasn't able to film myself. If you want to use a GoPro on a plane, you need to have a special license, which is a license C. And I didn't even have my license A. Oh gosh, a long way to go. Woohoo, <laughs> just look at me land. This is how I land. And then after I did that jump, I had another breakdown. So here's my second video. Hi guys, what's up? So, I've just had my 
day two in skydiving and um yeah I still wasn't able to do it on my own which was um what the instructors wanted me to do but I I had a bit of a breakdown and said no I know no I'm running to my trailer I need to I need to just relax for a bit because before I jump out of a plane <laughs> so um Look, I'm not giving up yet, I'm just going to sleep it off today, and tomorrow I'll do another sister jump, and uh, see how I can go. Regularly I'm meant to have three jumps in the one day, but I was only able to do one today, when <laughs> I was meant to have three. What... My goal tomorrow is to try and do three, but I feel like I did better, um, a lot of improvements need to be done, but, you know, I'm just a student, and I shouldn't, I shouldn't be too hard on myself. Anyway, that's, um, day two. After my second day, this is me after, you know what, I managed to actually pull myself together and do four dots in the one. Day. I was so proud of myself. Now, from what I want to teach you in this video is about resilience and just giving it a good go. I know it's overwhelming jumping out of the plane, it's not for everyone, but if you try and remember why you started it in the first place, you will get to that place. Just keep persisting and you will get there. What I think is the hardest thing about skydiving is actually starting and having the funds for it. Let's start with having the funds. You are going to need at least over $4,000 here in Australia, which is quite a lot. Not everyone has that. You either have to have a good job or you just have to not eat or just have two meals a day and just stay at your parents' place. Just, you know, do whatever you can. Next thing I would suggest is booking the course. I find that is one of the hardest things to think that you are going to drop over $4,000 to do your skydiving course. Now it's only for those who really want to do it. But once you jump in the course then um, it's really hard to get a refund. So once you put your money into the course and let's say after two skydives you want to leave the course and it's not for you then you are going to at least um, lose over a thousand dollars a thousand dollars here in Australia you can either get skydives which is a tandem with someone attached to you for two hundred sixty dollars to three hundred forty now in my opinion that is quite a lot uh, but if you were to go into your course and you were to lose that because you got too scared then it forces you to try and do the course So that's what my tip is just to force yourself to book the course or even get One of your friends or family just to book the course for you and then it forces you to take the time off and do the course Which is <laughs> what I did so this is me having a lot of breakdowns during this but even though as much as I was having the breakdowns, I still took it as one step at a time. I made sure to just go, all right, just do one jump, one jump, one jump. Get your equipment on, get your equipment on, and just get on the plane. And through the pressure, you know, you just have to keep getting yourself on the plane. If you're asking on how I got my skydiving license, so the time I started last year in July, I didn't get my license till June. So it took me almost one year just to get my license. It took me about 20 jumps because um, without going into lots of details, I had problems with landing. I didn't know how to do my accuracy. Accuracy with landing less than 30 meters away from the landing strip. So uh, I had to work on that and that was expensive. That was an expensive lesson. Skydiving is, is expensive. Like, I, I don't even know how I even afford it <laughs> with the salary, but you know what? It, it gets me out of bed. It's what drives me. It's what it's what life is all about. It's, you want you want something to just push you, and you want to try and aim for something else. And that's what I'm trying to encourage you in this video. You're trying to experience something and and do something where you thought you were too scared or 
um, you, you had such low self-confidence like I did in myself but you know what I still I still made it and you know I feel so privileged and, uh, and like stronger from that situation and I'm really trying to push you either if it's skydiving or doing a course or trying to reach for something that you think is not as good and and screw all those people who who tell you you can't you can't do anything you can do it you know even if it doesn't take you you know the quickest time like I did with my skydiving just as long as you're chipping away at it I I think like screw people if they tell you you can't skydive or you can't do that course or you can't go for that job I I I really believe in you I believe in you. Maybe you might not have a lot of people. I'm sounding like Lady Gaga, like you know how she says. Um, there'll be a hundred people in the room, and there'll be 99 people who tell you you can't do it. But if you just have that one person, then it all ends up being worth it. You know, it's totally true. You you may have one person or five people in the room, or you might not even have anyone at all. No one believes in you. Then, you know, screw it. I I think. Uh, you should just be your own strength or try and find inspiration from people. So I want to be that person to just encourage you to go skydive or even not even skydive. Try and reach whatever goal you want to do, you know. Um, screw everyone. Just listen to me. I believe in you. I believe in you. For those looking to skydive but you are too scared but you really want to, my idea is just to get someone with you. Make sure you jump with a friend or family or even just do it by yourself. I found that when I was skydiving the first time uh, back in Ailey Beach, uh, I just saw it as an activity and just booked it even though I'm, and not everyone has the courage to do that and I, I'm really vouching for you to get the courage for yourself and just really push yourself just think of yourself like um, a week later like wow I just skydived wow uh, I can't believe I just did that and there's there's such a feeling of I have just experienced something I really want to do and you become very very proud of yourself and you should be proud of yourself you just jumped out of a plane not everyone does that and the fact that you're able to put yourself through that you become a stronger person so there's so much benefits to it uh, there's also a lot of adrenaline. You you unlock so much parts of your brain when you skydive. You're you're beating your fears. You have so much concentration. Um, you're able to you know take in every moment, or it just it goes really quickly. I don't even know what to even say about it. You just have to go diving. Everyone should go skydiving at some point. Do it at any age. Even I've seen older people, older Australians, ones who are like. 70 or like 80 and they jumped out of the plane and you know what they were fine they they didn't have heart attacks they probably lived more in that and i want you to say i believe in myself i want you to go into the mirror or just right now just say i believe in myself all right i want you to grab that energy and say it in whatever language you are talking in whatever your main language is either if it's spanish or Hindi, Indian, Filipino, Tagalog, or, or just anything. I just want you to say, I can do this. I believe in myself. No one might not believe in me, but I believe myself. Krista, or Chris right now, he believes in me. I'm going to listen to him. And you know what? You're going you're gonna to feel this this like sense of like, it's, it's a bit overwhelming in your mind it's overwhelming in your mind right now and that's what you should feel you should it's it's your mind breaking those barriers they are breaking you know the negative comments from people your own negative self thoughts you are you are breaking that down and you are you're feeling this positivity and i want you to it's it's going to be overwhelming but just embrace it you know you you're just going to think you know, I can do this, I can do this. You might not think you can, but you definitely can. Thank you for watching my video, and please like and subscribe for more content.